Hi, it's Tessa and I'm here today with an empties video fighting with my camera because there was an update yesterday and let me switch this around here. I messed something up. So hopefully the autofocus is working and messed with some of the settings. I about lost it, but whatever. Anyway, the first thing I have for my empties is the Equate Beauty Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. Um, these are compared to the Neutrogena ones. I really like these. The Neutrogena ones have been stinging my eyes, so I've been sticking with these ones. And you get 40 of them in a pack compared to the Neutrogena ones, which I think are only um, 26. So I actually do repurchase them because here's the full one I just opened today. Next I have the Desert Essence Coconut Conditioner. Looks like this. And this is empty. The shampoo's still in my shower because I haven't used it all up yet. Um, not sure if I'm going to repurchase this. I think there's a few other brands and things I would like to try. I, the coconut is like summery to me, so I think I'm going to pass for now. I have two deodorants. They're both the same. The Degree Motion Sense Sheer Powder Deodorants. Um, I will repurchase these. I have repurchased these, obviously. <laughs> I have two. Um, I emptied the... Gillette Venus Sensitive or Sensible um, Razors. These are my favorite razors, but I think I said before I'll buy whatever razor I have a coupon for. Then I have the Lush Honey Trap um, Lip Stuff. I threw this out because, look, it's completely full. I didn't like it. And it expired. So I am going to toss it. I have the Suave Professionals Dry Shampoo. It was just a sample. I used it all up. I'm not going to be purchasing that, but it was okay while it lasted. I have the Maybelline Lash Discovery Mini Brush Mascara. And... Here's that, and it has this little dinky brush on it. I haven't seen this actually anywhere since I bought it, but the brush is super duper tiny. But I'm not going to purchase it again, I don't think. Um, my friend Deanna has really small lashes. I want to see if I can find this for her, because I think this might work for her. I'm actually going to set that aside so I remember. Then I had, from Lush, a lemon butter I think this was a cuticle cream. It was just a sample. Um, and I thought it stunk, so <laughs> getting rid of that. Then I had gotten a sample of this Borghese Fango Active Mud for face and body. And it burned my face. It was nasty. I got it, I think, in a birch box. It looks like that it's like brown but it's got to go it was pure torture um i finished the hard candy sheer envy primer i'm not going to purchase this again but it was all right i think i don't remember why there was something about it i didn't like but i'm throwing out the pond dry skin cream i cleaned out my drawers a couple weeks ago and there was some stuff that's questionable how long it's been in there um, I did use some of it, but I remember not liking it. That's why I stuck it in there to begin with, and it's got to go. I do have some things that I know were newer that I'm going to give away to people that I know, but the stuff that was in there a long time, I am getting rid of it. I finished an Aussie 3-Minute Miracle uh, conditioner, and I will repurchase this. I just keep forgetting. The only thing that happened to mine is the top broke, and then I couldn't get the thing to work, but... No big deal, because it just dumped right out. I finished the Skin Summit Skin Therapy Lotionized Vitamin E Dry Skin Shave Cream. I like this shave cream, um, so I will purchase that. I finished up the Skin Iceland Icelandic Relief Eye Pen. This was the first thing I ever bought at Sephora. I went to a Sephora in Philadelphia. We were going to a convention, and while well, my husband was going to a convention, I just went to go to um, 
the king of Prussia Mall. And I went to my first ever Sephora. That was a couple years ago. And I bought this. And it's time for it to go. I finished up the Olay Active Hydrating Original Cream. This cream's okay, but um, I wouldn't repurchase it. My mom's a big oil valet person. She really likes oil valet. I finished up the Cole Crest 3D White Lux, and it is in glamorous white. I got this from my dentist in a little thing. He gives us, when you go to the dentist where I go, let me see if I can find it. It's pretty cool. Hold on. He gives you one of these little bags, and in it there's floss and a toothbrush, and a toothpaste is in there. I use the toothbrush, but I'm saving the floss and it. I use the toothpaste, but I'm saving the floss and the toothbrush for when I need it. I finished up the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Radiant Concealer, and I've been so desperate to get another one, and I went to Walmart week after week after week after week, and none in stock. I went today, there was two, so I got one. I was so excited. I miss this so much. This is my absolute favorite under eye um, brightening pen. And I used a concealer today for the first time, and I will update you on that at some point that I picked up. And I actually really, really liked it. So not as a brightener, though, just as an under eye concealer. I finished up my Revlon colors today for normal to dry skin. And my color is 200 Nude. I can also do 220. Either one, they're really close, in my opinion, for my skin tone. So I finished up the o Mountain Ocean Skin Trip in Coconut Soap. I really, really, really liked this soap as far as how um, much lather it produced and how it smelled. However, it doesn't last very long. It's like $4 a bar, and it's, it went quick, so... I might order one of these every now and then from Vitacost just because it's like a little treat. But in general, these are the bars of soap I like. The South of France Almond Soap. It's really big. It's 8 ounces. This is only 4.5 ounces. So, big difference. And these last so much longer. And they're cheaper. So, there's that. I'm throwing out the Lush Sweet Lips Lip Scrub. I hate to be a YouTuber that says this, but I'm just not a fan of Lush. Um, they actually, their products don't all have all natural stuff in them. There's some bad stuff in some of their products. And I'm just not a fan of it. I think a lot of it stinks. <laughs> So I don't know. I just, I'm not a fan. So this dried up and it expired. So this has got to go. I like the lip scrub, but it was, I can make this at home for free. Then I had the Dream Cream sample. And I finished it. I don't like that either. Finally, I have the um, Equate Night Smooth Makeup Removing Wipes. These aren't bad. But I like the blue package better. They just seem to take my makeup off better. So that is everything for my empties. And thanks for watching. I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.